Okay, so in the past couple of videos, we've been looking at the big numbers in No Man's Sky, and here we're finally going to surpass the number of planets in No Man's Sky, but comparing it to the number of planets uh, about, I guess, that are known to exist, or estimated, I should say, to exist in our universe. So that's how large this game is. In order to compare it to something, we have to look at the scale of our entire universe here. So, so here, let's assume that we have about 10 to the 24th planets in our universe. How does this compare to the number of planets in No Man's Sky? Well, earlier on, we estimated this number to 1.8 times 10 to the 19th. This is the number of planets in No Man's Sky. And we're saying, how does it compare to 10 to the 24th? Well, 10 to the 24th, of course, is larger. This question is saying, how many times larger? So what do we have to multiply the number of planets by in the video game No Man's Sky? What do we have to multiply that by so that we get the number of planets in our universe? So let's do that. How do we do that? Well, um, we divide, right? 10 to the 24th divided by 1.8 times 10 to the 19th. And this is a semi-friendly uh, division, even if it looks really gross, we can we can manage it. How do we manage it? Well, first of all, we got, we've got to think of, well, I like, I like to think of 10 to the 24th as 1 times 10 to the, to the 24th. Then we're dealing with the fact that we can split this division in two pieces, 1 over 1.8 and 10 to the 24th over 10 to the 19th. 10 to the 24th over 10 to the 19th, we can subtract those exponents and get 10 to the 5th. And then 1 divided by 1.8. Well, what do we do there? Well, there's lots of ways of dealing with this. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert 1.8 to a fraction. That's the way I like to deal with uh, decimal division sometimes. 1.8, what's that? Well, 1.8, you can think, if we rewrite this, is 1 over 1 and 4 fifths. Every fifth is 0.2, so 4 fifths is 0.8. We're getting closer. Now try to follow my writing here. Up here we go now. 1 and 4 fifths as a mixed number is 5 fifths plus 4 fifths. Right? It's 1 over 5 fifths plus 4 fifths times 10 to the 9th, uh, fifth, excuse me. And that's 9 fifths. So we have 1 divided by 9 fifths. So times 10 to the 5th. What do we do next? Well, when we're divided by a flat fraction, we can multiply by its reciprocal. So this is really 1 times 5 ninths. Right? I just multiply instead of dividing, and I flip that fraction to its reciprocal. Instead of 9 over 5, it's 5 over 9. And now we're getting somewhere. So what's this? 1 times 5 ninths is 5 ninths. Now what's 5 ninths? 5 ninths is point zero point five repeating. Ninths are awesome because... Uh, if you've never seen this pattern before, 1 ninth is 0.1 repeating, 2 ninths is 0.2 repeating, 3 ninths is 0.3 repeating, and so on and so forth. So 5 ninths is just 0.5 repeating. So this could be our answer. But let's write it in scientific notation. And I seem to have ran out of room, so let me clear off some of this. Clear it out of your way. Okay. Um, so what do we do with this? Well, I'll start up here. 0 0.5 repeating. There's fives forever and so forth. Uh, after this point right here. So to write it in scientific notation, we need to get this number here between 1 and 10. It's at a half about, right? So we multiply it by 10. It's too small. And when we do that, we get 5.5 repeating. There's always more fives there. To maintain equivalence, we divide this by 10. And we get 10 to the fourth, and that's our answer. What does this mean? Well, 10 to the fourth is 10,000, right? So there's over five and a half ten thousands, right? Or you might say over fifty-five thousand um, more, excuse me, there's over, I'll write it here, over fifty-five thousand times more planets in our universe. So, so our universe is larger than the game itself, of course, but I think what's amazing to me is that in, in the sense of just numbers, it's so, it's close. It's amazing, right? Um, over 55,000 times, I, I would, of course, think comparing a game to a universe would yield a much vastly larger difference.
So it's really amazing how far this game has come already. Thanks.